Hey guys, in today's video I am going to be going through this box of empty goodies. I've got some makeup, some skincare, things like that, so stay tuned to see what's in the box. Starting off with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I have absolutely been loving this, especially over the hotter months. It's a matte foundation, so not for everyone, but the coverage is amazing and it lasts so damn long. One of the biggest problems I get when it comes to heat and foundation is, say it with me, my sweat mustache. Literally, beads of sweat start to pop through, I dab it away with a tissue and it removes my foundation. So I'm left with this gap, like it's just, it's not a good look. But this foundation, it holds up. I can sweat, I can dab it off with a tissue, and the foundation is still there. So, that's a winner in my books. I did buy quite a few shades of this. I think there are 40 in the range, so I was a little unsure on which shade would match me perfectly. This one that's empty is porcelain. It is a little bit too dark, so I end up picking up light porcelain, which is a better match for me. I also have another one in the shade Pale. This is far too light, but I love it as a mixing foundation. You may have seen in a video recently where I mixed the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop with the Revlon this one here, the Revlon Candid Foundation. I needed this shade to be a bit more light and I also wanted it to have some more coverage. So that's where this one comes into play. If you've got really dry skin, you probably won't love this foundation, but I definitely recommend it if you're after something long lasting and full coverage. And will I repurchase it? Absolutely, I've got backups. Next is the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil Powder and I'm pretty sure this has been in like the last two empty videos. I am absolutely obsessed with it. What makes it different is that it has a really nice luminous finish. So I love using it to set my entire face because it just leaves a really nice glow and makes my skin look nice and healthy. I especially love using it over super matte foundations because it just brings a little bit of life back to my skin and it doesn't look like I've just got this heavy face of makeup on because there is that natural luminosity to the skin. This is something I have been repurchasing for a long time now. Whenever there's a Priceline sale, I literally buy it. Whatever is left on the shelves, I absolutely love it. If you're overseas, I don't know if you'll be able to get it because Models Prefer is an Australian brand, but I don't know. If you do some Googling or use a shipping service, you can probably pick it up. Another powder I've gone through is the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the shade 05 Fair. This would have to be my second favorite loose powder that I've tried. First of all, the shade is so fair, so it works for my porcelain skin. It has a matte finish, but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin at all, even when I pack it on with my sponge. It just looks really nice on the skin and it sets my makeup in place all day. Now this powder was recently released in Australia, but they didn't release all of the shades. So the lightest shade available in Australia is 10 Fair Light. And I'll just compare. I've got another 05 over here. So this is 05 and this is 10 light. As you can see, there is quite a big difference in those. So 10 light does not work for me, unfortunately. So I do have to pick this one up from eBay. Next is the Flower Beauty Draw the Line Eyebrow Pencil. And I really loved this one. I picked this one up in the shade Blonde and I found that the color worked really well for me. I do prefer more of a cool toned brow. The formula was really nice and it applied it beautifully, but the problem here was there was barely any product in it. I think I used this like full time for about two weeks and at that time my brows were tinted. So I was using very little product anyway and it completely ran out within those two weeks. I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem like a very long time, especially how little product I was using for a brow pencil to last. Although it is an affordable product and I did like the formula, I probably wouldn't repurchase it again because of that reason. Next is the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Pencil. And again, this is a repeat in my empties because it is just such a nice brow pencil. The shade is perfect, the formula works well, it glides on easily and it stays in place. I'm sure if you watch my other videos, you would see me use this all the time. I really recommend it and I've already got a backup, so yes. I would repurchase. 
Next is the L'Oreal Infallible Anti-Redness Primer. This is literally the best anti-redness primer that I have ever tried. It's a very lightweight liquid formula. It blends into the skin super easily and dries fast so you can move on to your next Step, and it counteracts redness like no other. It also has this bit of a shimmer in it, which leaves the skin looking really luminous. It's nothing too overpowering. I've already repurchased this. I think I have like three backups in my little basket. I do only buy it when it's on sale though, because it retails for $30, which I think is a little bit steep. So when it's on sale, I buy a few. Next, I have the Mecca Max Brush Refresh Mist. And I love using this to spot clean my brushes in between my bigger cleans. If you need a brush stat, but it's got gold shimmer all over it, this is when this product comes in handy. You just spray it onto a little cotton pad. I don't actually have any around at the moment. And then you swirl the brush into it and it instantly cleans it. And it only takes like a minute to dry. This comes in handy for me all the time and I've already repurchased. Moving on to some skincare now. First up, I have the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. I was so excited to try out this vitamin C serum. I felt as though it had a lot of hype, but for me, it was a bit of a letdown. I actually found on Sephora a mini set, so it come with a few of the most popular Ole Henriksen products. It was a really nice, lightweight, fast absorbing serum, but I just felt as though it didn't do much for my skin. It didn't make my skin feel nice and plump and refreshed, I didn't see any improvement in the fading of my pigmentation. And overall, I didn't see enough big changes for me to want to repurchase the almost $100 bottle. I've used other vitamin C serums in the past where I've gotten better results, so I'm going to stick to those ones. Next is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. And again, I liked this one, but I wasn't like, wow. I preferred to use this as a morning eye cream as it was really lightweight and absorbed quickly. It was moisturizing and did make my under eyes feel nice, but it just felt like a bit of a basic eye cream and it didn't brighten, which is what I expected from the title. So I will not be repurchasing this one. Onto another eye cream and this one is the Youth to the People Superfood Peptide Eye Cream. This one is very different to the Ole Henriksen. Firstly, it's a very rich and creamy formula. So I only like to use this one in the nighttime. It's super hydrating. So when I woke up in the morning, I found that my under eyes looked really hydrated and nice and bright. I really love the packaging too. It comes in this sturdy glass jar. And what I love about Youth to the People is that they use really good ingredients. I've already repurchased this one. I absolutely love it. Next is another one by Youth to the People. This is the Age Prevention Moisture Cream. And I'm pretty sure I'm onto like my third jar of this. I absolutely love this moisturizer. I use it in the mornings. I only need a small amount and I find it spreads all over my skin and just absorbs really quickly, but leaves my skin feeling so moisturized and ready for my makeup application. I don't leave myself a lot of time in the mornings to get ready. So having something that is quickly absorbing is definitely a bonus. It has a really nice scent. It just smells super fresh and clean. I feel as though it's great for sensitive skin. It doesn't clog my pores and make me break out at all. And I don't go super red when I'm applying it. This is a product that I will continue to repurchase. I absolutely love it. And then the last Youth to the People product is the Superfood Cleanser. This cleanser was really nice. It was more of a lightweight gel consistency, so I preferred to use it in the mornings. It has a really fresh scent, a little goes a long way, and I found that it did a really good job at removing any excess oil residue from my skincare the night before. It didn't make my skin feel dry afterwards as well, which is something that I can't stand. I felt nice and plump and moisturized. My only downfall from this product is to do with the packaging and it's that it leaked. It wasn't leaking from the pump either. It was coming from in here, just slowly dripping down the bottle and all over my vanity. I probably wasted about one third of the product just from it leaking. I tried washing it out several times and that didn't seem to work. So I just don't know what was going on. I do want to repurchase this, but I don't want to spend my money if I'm just going to waste it on the product leaking everywhere. So I don't know, if any of you guys have tried out this product, please leave me a comment down below and let me know if yours leaked as well. Maybe I just got a bit of a dud. The next product is by Tatcha and this is the water cream. So I have a little sample size here that I picked up in a pack that was available at Mecca Maxima over the Christmas holidays. 
Now, I have never felt a moisturizer quite like this one. The texture is just so water-like. It has a cooling effect when you apply it to the skin and it absorbs in like a second. Literally so fast. I felt as though it did an okay job at moisturizing, but for me, I don't think it was enough. Therefore, it's not worth the expensive price tag of $104. For a bigger tub, that is. Not for this little tiny thing. That would be ridiculous. If you had more of an oily skin type, I think you would enjoy this more because as I said, it is so lightweight and absorbs really quickly. But as for my normal combo skin, I just felt as though I wasn't getting enough hydration from the product. It is very luxurious, but it's not something I'm going to be spending my money on. Let me know down in the comments below though if there are any other touch of products that you think are definitely worth the price tag. I do have the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist here. This also come in the little sample pack. And I have a sample of the Violet C Radiance Mask. I haven't got around to trying this yet, but any other products, 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 leave me a comment down below, please. Next is the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid. Now this product is going to be in my routine for life. I absolutely love it. It gets right into those pores, cleaning them out, leaving my skin feeling so soft and smooth. If I don't use this for a few days, those little blackheads come back. All on my cheeks starts to get quite textured. So this product is a lifesaver for me. It is a liquid formula, so I just pop a little bit onto a cotton pad and wipe all over my skin. No need to rinse off, and I only use this at night times as well. I've recommended this product to two of my sisters who also have quite textured skin and they saw results almost instantly. They were very impressed, so I was like, good recommendation, yep, yeah, okay. Paula's Choice has some really great skincare products, so if you're after a good routine, I definitely recommend checking out their website. Lots of information and I'm pretty sure you can have a chat to them and talk about your skincare needs as well. Next is the go-to Transformazing Sheet Mask. Now, I tried this one last night after being out in the sun, on the boat, all day. My skin really needed hydration and this did the job. I was really impressed with it. The mask was packed with serum and I felt as though it absorbed into my skin within 10 minutes and left me feeling really hydrated. There were only two minor downfalls from this mask. The first one that it didn't quite fit my face properly. It was a little bit tight around my mouth, so it kept coming up from that area and also around my nose here. And it also was quite fragranced, which I didn't really like. Because of that reason, I don't think I will be repurchasing. If the fragrance is something you can stand though, give it a go. But for me, it was just a little bit too strong. And lastly, I have some hair care from Bondi Boost. I literally have like this much left in the bottle, so they're still in the shower, but they're pretty much empty, so I want to talk about them. So as you all probably know, I have been growing out my hair for the last seven months or so, and when I first started, I decided to reach out to Bondi Boost and ask if I could try their products in return for a video. I was really excited to try out the range, especially after hearing a lot of good things on Instagram, but when it comes to brands like this, you can be a little bit skeptical. A lot of the content was sponsored, so I really wanted to test it out for myself and put the truth out to you guys in my review video. Overall though, I really enjoyed these products and I definitely think they helped make my hair healthier, which in return helped it grow faster. I was getting so many comments on my YouTube and Instagram as well from you guys saying how fast my hair was growing. You were all really surprised and I think I have to put it down to using the Bondi Bruce products. Overall though, I would not repurchase these products again. I feel as though they did what I wanted them to do at the time, but I would still recommend them for anyone who is trying to grow out their hair or wants a bit of help with the thickness. All right guys, well that is everything from me. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned today, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed watching, give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here, I would love it if you checked out my channel and subscribed. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. The next product is by Tatcha. The next product is by Tatcha. Tatcha? Tatcha. Overall though, I really enjoyed using the Bondi Bruce. Overall though, I really enjoyed using the Bondi Bruce. Oh. Song in the box today. What's in the box? In the box. I really need a backup, but that's cool. That's cool.
The formula was really nice. It just glide, glided, glid. The formula, formula. 